Hey guys, so before I begin the video, I wanted to mention um, something that I wanted to do real quick. Um, I know I wanted to make an actual video on this, but it would just be way too much, too long, and nobody really watches those videos anyway, so I figured I'll put it at the beginning of one of these. But um, I am actually working on a list of video games that I want to work on next. Our next big RPG, well, maybe mine, maybe, sir, I don't know yet. Um, I know for sure that here's, I'm basically guys going to give you guys a mini list of what we're working on. Um, Catherine will be completed. We're also going to start uh, 999 for the Nonary games pretty much as soon as she and I have a chance to get together. That'll be eventually. Um, and then definitely after next week on the uh, 27th, whenever uh, Ultra Despair Girls comes out, I'll be starting that. But, uh, and then V3, of course, is in September, but that's ways off. But anyways, I wanted you guys to maybe help me. Uh, I want you guys to comment below and tell me which of these games would you rather, like, would you want to see a full playthrough of? It wouldn't be right now. It'll be later on. Um, but I want to do a major RPG coming up, and honestly, I want to work on it for, for a while. So, anyways, I've got a list of three here. Uh, either Kingdom Hearts, I want to do a full, we could do a full Persona 5 playthrough, or Final Fantasy 15. Um, or if you guys have any other suggestions of JRPGs or the like, um, we'll be doing other stuff on the side, but these are like major RPGs that I want to finish eventually. Um, or if you guys have something you else want to see otherwise, please let me know in the comments section below. That'd be really appreciated because I, I'm not sure what exactly I want to do yet. But anyways, so if you guys let me know what you think, thank you guys for over 500 subscribers. You are all awesome. But anyways, on to the video! Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, and in the last episode, uh, we had not only one death, but two. We had Ibuki, and we had Hyoko. Sad about one, and different about the other. This game really gets you into, like, liking characters that you even don't like to a degree. It makes me kind of sad, but at the same time, I don't know. But anyways, hello, Kazuichi. Like, I've been putting up with this for a while. Why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. You're wearing a fucking jumpsuit, bro. It's be yeah, because your clothes are so. Yeah, he's wearing a fucking jumpsuit. I don't care. Ugh, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the music venue, and you're a cloud of grumbling complaints. It's really hot. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Why is it this hot? Before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. Okay. There are two victims, Mio Ibuki Miyota and Hiyoko Sayonji. Ibuki's cause of death was a crushing and windpipe as a result of choking. There are other, but there are no other external injuries. Okay. She choked. How could she have hanged herself? That can't be the same. Choking and hanging yourself are not the same thing. Whatever. Hyoko's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slipped by a sharp edge to- Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. It appears her death was instant. Joy. What the- Is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so is this isn't going to be a useful clue. Ka uh, I mean, choking and- Hanging are not the same thing. A snapped neck and a crushed windpipe are not the same thing. Uh, that much I know. Ugh. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Uh huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you leave, you, you'll leave, right? So, I don't think it's necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Or, was there a reason that they had to kill two people? reason for killing two people? Re regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so I will definitely find the truth behind this case. That's what I think. Seriously, I'd prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. <laughs> I know, it's just like, I think so. Okay, well, anyways, um, where to begin? What do I got here? Okay, we the stage first, I guess. Ibuki's body. Sad face. Ibuki's laying atop the stage where she was wearing the hospital gown where she where she was wearing when she was sick. Mm -hmm. What's that on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, the blood belongs to someone else. 
possibly Hyoko. So, uh, from what I'm already gathering, Hyoko died before Ibuki did. But, why? Okay. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah. At first, I didn't know it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since so she was hanging by that rope. Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. No, not possible. <sighs> that helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. That's true, there was so many time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. But I should, I should know when Ibuki died because personally I saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing a step ladder on her own. So right after that... Wait, hold on a sec. Ibuki climbed the stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hyoko's death afterward. Ugh, two different deaths happening at the same time, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay, I I'm kind of getting an idea here. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I think that Hyoko, that this is all a red herring. What they just said, because they made it a point to tell you, I think it's a red herring for you to kind of stray off the path a little bit. I don't think he, I don't think Ibuki died before, or, or after Hyoko, or before Hyoko. I think Hyoko died right before and has been tied up here for a while. This is a rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki's hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite this fact, this is music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means it was obtained from the supermarket. Did the killer bring it them? Excuse me, from there? <laughs> that means some, anybody could have obtained that rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Uh, is it okay if I confirm it? Excuse me, Mika, do you have a moment? Um, what happened? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was from being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. That's a lie. That's not right. She was crushed by choking. That couldn't be a thing. Choking and hanging are different. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious from the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. And then I might as well search another place. Jesus, he's alive. Yeah, I think that me and Nagito are on the same page right now, because I don't. I think that he's thinking what I'm thinking. It's not possible. As I go through my thinking process <laughs> during this game, I'm just like, I don't even, I don't know. Step ladder was tipped over on side. This must have been the step ladder that Ibuki used to meet in the video I saw. Is that a stain? Look, there's blood around the left side of the step ladder. If I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injury, so if that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's blood. That's the only thing I can think of. Blood stain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does this mean? It means Hyoko died before Ibuki. There's no other way. Where else would they have gotten blood unless somebody injured themselves, which obviously is not a thing. There's the candle. There's a massive candle position near the front of the stage. The dull light from that video must have confirmed that must be confirming from this candle. A candle that must that this huge must be perfect for lighting, but. They didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have used the normal stage lighting. More ominous. Okay. Anyways, uh, Hyoko's body is the next thing I want to look at. Hyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she's forced to stand upright. Damn it! Who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct, duct tape wrapped around it. Why is Hyoko's kimono tied like this? Her kimono's all disheveled and her, also her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hyoko? When I first discovered the bo Ikabuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body there. 
If that's the case, Yoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone getting everyone when I came here. But that was barely ten minutes. Is it really possible for the killer to kill Hyoko and then tape her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it's possible, whoever did this wouldn't have would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? You would think that. But usually it's the people who do have an alibi that cause everything to fuck up because they're trying to think of ways not to get caught. Oh, Hajime, you have a minute? No, you're in the way. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from the inside of Yoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Hold on, don't tell me you want me to you want me to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Huh? That's exactly it! <laughs> Come on, have some respect, bro. Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know. Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with it now she's dead? Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey, Akane! Yo, what's up? Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono. Can you feel around for it? Hmm. I don't really understand, but I just all I got. But I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, right? Ah, uh, thank you, Kane. Having each other is such a wonderful thing. Hmm. Let's see. Kane reached the duct tape binding Hyoko as she st stuck her hand inside her kimono. Damn it! She's tied up so tight I really can't reach with my hand. Oh, wait, hold on. There's some. There. There's something. Is this what you're looking for? Is this a key? It looks different from the key to the cottage, so this must be a key to her motel room. The key to her motel room, huh? If her key was so deep inside her kimono, that must be hard to re it that that it must have been hard to remove. And it's very unlikely the killer tampered with this evidence. Because if this was a trap, they would have put more towards the front of her kimono, so we'd notice it easier. Which means I can conclude that this is something Kyo Kyoko had with her all along. Okay, why? Why? Why does she... Did she leave her motel room or something? Uh, also, it's not like I'm adding anything to that or any... Like I'm adding anything to that or anything. But if you look in where you were curious about the condition of Yoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. If it's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. Of all those mysteries, this is what I think the strangest is. They're the way that they wrapped her body up with this duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? I don't really know if that's their true intention, but I guess it'd be a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. Unless you're as morbid as someone like me. <laughs> okay, the curtain, I guess? There's a black curtain hanging up from the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough. It's not wide enough. I can't reach from one edge one edge of the stage to the other. It's not really a full-length curtain. This cur- this- <laughs> sorry. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. The black curtain on the ta is, tape is tape for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring the curtain from the supermarket? If they went that far, this is probably something the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Who knows? It wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. I have my assumptions of what could be a thing, I guess, but... Okay. Oop, nope, I forgot the hemp bag. Uh, Chiaki. <laughs> I forgot the hemp bag and I forgot Chiaki. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. Why did she have a hemp bag on her head? It's the one... Wait, huh? It's Monami's bag. Hemp bag. Upon further inspection, this is a Monami decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Yeah, it's the one from the movie theater. Their arms crossed and thoughtful look on her face, Chucky was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty? 
See? Take a close look at the floor. There's blood! If, if you look closely, you're, you're right, there's a smudge as if something were wiped off. This isn't something. It's a blood stain. Well, the blood stain is strange. Hyoko's neck was slashed not far from here. Rather, what is strange is why the killer tried to hide it. Hide it? If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain is as, as the bloody as long as the body's nearby, there's no way we'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. So what is the killer trying to hide? That's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm very curious. There should still be things I need to investigate. Oh, what what have I not? Uh, uh, wait, what? Oh, wait, that's the curtain. Oh, the thermostat. Okay, the thermostat and the, okay. This is the music venue's AC unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Or I should mess around with it a little, just like so. It's running as a heater! It's over 86 degrees Fahrenheit! I don't know what that is in Celsius, guys, so don't ask me! <laughs> I'm from America, I use Fahrenheit, <laughs> I'm lame. And now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn the heater off for now. That should cool things off a little. I love how they actually, like, probably changed the number from Fahrenheit or from Celsius to Fahrenheit during this game. Because everywhere else in the world, everybody uses Fahrenheit. <laughs> or everybody uses Celsius. What the fuck am I talking about? Kelly and shut. This control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems you can use a control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hanged body. Speaking of the lighting, that video of the music venue I saw... It had a dim lit candle ambience to it. It didn't look like the, this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason that they would have inconvenienced them? I see, so you noticed too, fiend. Noticed? So you didn't notice. Hm. Are those eyes just little glass balls? It feels like everybody's just like, are those eyes just for show? Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you noticed that amber and item? A baron. Why do I keep saying a baron? I don't know what that word means either. I'm probably just abnormal. You get the baton lighting? You mean that? It looks like there's black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. Oh, but I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and... <laughs> There's no need. Go, Mirage, Golden Hawk, Jumpy. Now it's time for you to take flight. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark davis of destruction. The hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. Did you... It started running around around the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered down. It was de de it was deftly caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate eye evil eye wielder. Wow, that's amazing! I've never seen a hamster do tricks. They're my four dark days of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. <laughs> I want to know what they really look like to Gundam. Like, what are the, what is their real form? So, what's with that paper? <laughs> it seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spells scribed onto it. Mm, it appears nothing useful. <sighs> no, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, there's n no matter how much we think about it, it's too unnatural. Hmm... Scrap the thick paper has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, I think I got everything now. Oh, broken machine. <coughs> Shattered remains of the machine are spread on the floor. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. <laughs> Why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Even if they know they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing the murder in front of a camera. And so that's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm. Seems plausible enough. You hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then what is that? What was that thing I saw? Hmm. 
Good question. I would not know. Alright, um... We'll, we'll talk to everybody, I guess. <laughs> it happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. This place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Yoko looking like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Ugh, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason we can't just leave this alone, right? We must do it this then. For the sake of the two who have fallen. Yes. Mikan, what's up, girlfriend? <laughs> if I'd only knew it sooner, Ibuki might still have been saved. When did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on-call room, and that's when it came to me that I should go check out how everyone's doing in the hospital. How, how everyone in the hospital is doing. One more time before I go to sleep. <laughs> and so I went to the patient's room and noticed Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's when that happened. And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. Ah, that reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. Ah, I'm sorry. It's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I can doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. Right, we were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right! We were together until just a little before the morning announcement! So... Oh, sorry. Said so, I don't doubt you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> um, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please, spare my life, please! Happened to not doubting me. Mikan's account. Oh, oh, I get the feeling something is going on. Oh, I worry. Here we go. Baby boy, what's up? Hey, Hajime, look at this. What? Look at what's in front of the door. This is a drumstick, right? I and mean, it looks broken. What happened to it? If it's something, if something like that is in front of the door, you think it might be a really big clue? Why would it be a clue? Remember when we came to the music venue? Then the door was shut, and we had to barge our way in. It won't open. Whoa. The only thing the we, only can, we can, can do is force our way through. 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 I wonder what's gonna, if that's gonna be possible. Of the four of us, four of us are girls, you know. It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Let's go. Charge at the same time. Ready? Set. Set. Go. Go. If we hit go signal, we charge at the door full force. Bam. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found this at the door. I found that's the that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here, don't you think the, it would lock the door and keep us from opening it? You mean, you think the drumstick was used to lock the door? The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. And then, how was the killer able to get out? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door's the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape, the o wouldn't be able to escape outside. Maybe the killer was still inside when we broke the door down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to come join us. You know, you don't, they don't, don't they have to use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside the venue when we broke the door down to the, mu to the music venue? Huh. Like you said, that might be possible, but... I heard what you two were discussing. Chucky, that was kind of a cool entrance. Yes. <laughs> Besides the broken drumstick, I also have discovered something interesting. What is it? Look over there, at the weird glob where the right where the right and left door is cut. See? You're right. What is this? It looks too firm I th to think it's rubber. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... 
she said that Jackie bent down, scraped some of the tram transparent glob with her finger. <laughs> she put it in her mouth. Come on, dude. Nah. What are you putting it in your mouth? <laughs> Just making dumb noises. Ah, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? And this chewiness? I see. The thing might be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, it was originally a liquid that hardened into this. It might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly to the gap of the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Jack Spectacle about left the area. <laughs> Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider it some kind of clue, right? <laughs> why put it in your mouth? If it's got workshop chemicals, why would you put it in your mouth? Good lord, girly. Uh, Connie, what you got, girl? Uh, hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Uh, yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekamaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. I'll probably go away if I battle the strong dude, but Nekamaru's not here. Nekamaru will definitely come back. Uh, you're right. Oh, girlfriend. I'm sorry. You've got a crush on Nekamaru. Uh, the thing about that, though, would be like, I bet the sex would be fan fucking tastic. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Hajime, this may be impudent of me. Impu uh, sorry, impud impudent. I can't say words. Uh, this may be impudent of me, but will you listen to what I have to say? <laughs> You've been saying a lot. I actually want to listen to you because you and I think I think you and I have the same plan. Uh, I heard you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to re reach the truth behind this incident, for the sake of dedicating to my body to an even greater hope. No. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. He just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what, what, what he wants to know. I see. That's disappointing. Well, I mean, no offense, dude, but you're a little nuts. Alright, finally, my bubay. <laughs> Did you direct ga your gaze at the brave stature of my four dark davis of destruction? Oh, of course, you're not going to say anything. Okay, well, we have one more thing to check out. I'm going to check out in the storage room next. We're going to cut the episode off here for now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.